Hello, I'm John Sopel, the Pro Chancellor uh, of the University. I'm also the BBC's North America editor. Uh, the discerning amongst you will have noticed that I'm not actually in Washington DC, but Brussels. Uh, I'm traveling with President Biden on his first overseas trip. Congratulations on your degree. All you've achieved in these most difficult and testing of times. I also want to offer congratulations to your family who've probably supported you through this, your friends and the academic staff who've helped you get to where you've got to today. Your degree certificate is a badge if you like. It says you can think, it says you can reason, it says you can argue and these will be vital things as you go forward with your career. In previous graduation ceremonies I used to read Oh the Places You'll Go by Dr Seuss. Um, doesn't seem quite appropriate today. I think it's more like Oh, the places you'll stay. Please do stay in touch with the university. We want to hear how you get on, what you're doing, and also you can tap in to other, the experiences of other graduates who will be able to share their thoughts on the pitfalls ahead and the opportunities in whatever chosen career you go into. Hello. Today we are celebrating the remarkable achievements of you, our graduates. We at the university are all very proud of you just as I'm sure you, your family, friends and other supporters are. Graduating from one of the UK's very best universities, well within the world top 100, is no mean feat. This will have required an immense amount of hard work, dedication and resilience to get you to this point today. While we are all here to celebrate the same achievement of graduating with a Southampton degree, your individual experience of university will have been completely unique. Your studies may have allowed you to achieve levels of research and knowledge that you could have only dreamed of when you started your first year. You may have made a range of new friendships that have allowed you to better understand the world. Or you may have taken advantage of all of the opportunities of clubs, skills developments and volunteering. This will have provided new skills and experience, for example, trying your hand in the world of enterprise or dedicating your time to helping others. The global, inclusive, open nature of universities such as Southampton should have exposed you to a range of new thinking and views. I am sure you will be leaving us a very different person to the one which joined us. This is a time of your lives all about growth, adaptation, development and finding out who you truly are. I very much hope you have found out a lot about yourself and the world as well as hopefully enjoying yourself. You are at the cusp of further change in your life while the world has also been changing dramatically around you. The next stage of your life is beginning in extraordinary and uncertain, yet now more hopeful circumstances. The impact of the global events that have spanned the past year must not overshadow your great achievements. In fact, the whole way our community reacted and coped with the global pandemic was truly inspiring. The contribution of research intensive university society has been well demonstrated throughout the pandemic. Southampton as a university was no different, with a range of fantastic projects. To highlight one, the saliva testing programme was a national pathfinder. It was the most extensive testing programme of any university. You'll have had to cope with changes and things you never expected to. I've been continually amazed by your resilience, creativity and drive, especially when faced with the recent challenges that you've had to deal with. I hope you are now looking forward to the future with optimism and determination, even though uncertainty still exists. I want to thank you all for your fortitude and going above and beyond in helping us as a community deal with the pandemic. The friends you have made, the knowledge and skills you have worked so hard to acquire, and the memories you hold dear will be with you for the rest of your lives, as will your connection with us. You are joining a new family today as a Southampton alumnus. We will be here for you, so please stay in touch with us. I hope you will hold your time here very close to your heart as you embark on your next adventure. As much as I trust that Southampton has left its mark on your life, I know without doubt that you will have left your mark on our community. My heartfelt congratulations to you all again. I wish you every success for your future. Hello everyone. As head of Southampton Business School, I wanted to offer my heartfelt congratulations to all our new graduates. 
This moment marks the closing of one chapter of your life at the beginning of another. Some of you may continue your education. Others may have your first role waiting for you. You may be ready to launch your own venture, or you could be waiting to see what this fresh start has in store. Whatever the immediate future looks like for you, we hope you will go on to find success and contentment. All of us speaking to you today want to emphasize how incredibly proud of you we all are for what you have accomplished during your time with us at Southampton, especially while facing immense challenges this past year. This is not an achievement that should be taken lightly, and we hope you are proud of yourselves too. You are now connected with the Southampton for life, and I hope you will stay in touch with us as a member of our alumni community, a vast group of people connected by shared experience of studying and growing with us. We hope you will make the most of this opportunity to continue learning and working with us. Take what you have learned here in our lecture theatres, online seminars, libraries, sport clubs and beyond and apply those lessons, academic or otherwise, to whatever you do next. I wish you all the very best for a bright and brilliant future. Congratulations! My name is Dr. John Malagila, Program Leader of the Master of Science in Accounting and Finance of the Southampton Business School. Pro Chancellor, I present to you the candidates from the Faculty of Social Sciences and I ask that you admit them to their awards. I now present the graduates from the Southampton Business School for the award of Bachelor of Science in Accounting and Finance. Colonel Bazet. Charlotte Isabel Dalamea, Alvina Hamid, Aidan Lai, Wing Yan Jasmine Lai, Shuja Lin, Gladys Mabel Restropo Padomo, Caprice Shirai Salmon, Saldananak Singh, Zishuan Wang, Xin Wang, Ethan Wei, Ethan Wong. I now present the graduates from the Southampton Business School for the award of Bachelor of Science in Accounting and Finance with employment placement. Kylie Anders. Matthew Stephen Whitley Gandori, Elliot Milanese, Elizabeth Odulaja, Samata Razak Odirango, Annie May Salanson, Gracie Ann Tobias Frost, Robin Van Roenhoven, Patricia Morley. I now present the graduates from the Southampton Business School for the award of Master of Science in Accounting and Finance. Ian Skow, Shuk Yi Ching, Jian Xuan Sui, Wenyan Deng, Bing Yi Du, Xu Wen Duan, Yu Jing Duan, Yu Yi Feng, Xu Xin Gang, Lu Qi, Bo Li, Xuan Lu Li, Meng Wei Li. Ya Xuan Li, Zhong Yi Li, Yu Jie Lin, 
Yu Kun Liu Hua Wei Luo Hua Xuan Niu Xuan Fei Pen Yu Ting Chuo Yu Song Yu Duing Tong Jing Xuan Wang Ting Wang Wang Yun Fei Wang Zi Yi Wang Zin Wen Wu Bei Bei Xia Wen Xuan Su Ling Yan Xu Jie Yang Su Xin Yang Yuan Yao Yi Fan Yin Hong Jia Zhang Hui Yan Zhang Hua Qi Zhou Zhang Yan Zhu My name is Professor Pauro Shukla. I am the Professor of Marketing and Head of Department of Digital and Data-Driven Marketing at the Southampton Business School. I now present the graduates from Southampton Business School for the award of Bachelor of Science. Yingnan Kai, Adriana Olga Yezireska, Martina Amanda Litwin, Janusz Swierzynski, Kariele Engheli Vilayin, Alvaro Calero Fernandez, Merrily Penyam, Haupeng Kin, Jana Ivanova Staneva, Dahila Ellen Taylor, April Zoe Thompson, Antoine Sertilino Yanko, Racha Yesuf, Emmett Kaslin. I now present the graduates for the award of Master of Science, Jittima Amoransu Savatri, Sirada Chaisu, Shu Hua Chen, Varur Chotigavanich, Tanyanan Kananu, Vipavi Komin, Pachaploi Kritka Evbu Rueng, Yixian Liu, Sasifa Masataiti, Picharon Prasit, Tijutha Romasakul, Krina Ketan Shah, Bebe Song, Pimpicha Suchasanti, Yanisa Tanikko, Sopit Tocharoen, Jiuyan Shu, Donghui Zhang, Wenchu An, Glin Chen, Yi Lin Chu, Qi Jing Fen, Tao Gao, Xiao Gu, Jiai Li, Mangyuan Li, Xiao Chang Liu, Ryan Joshua Nave, Frim Fan Fong Fifat, Mengi Shen, Jiewei Tang, Chanamon Tavichai, Kantira Vanich Sang Sopon, Chianyu Wo, 
Julia, Ingrid, Edith, Wolf, Han, Yang, Changyuan, Yang, Zihan, Zhao, Kiongli, Kao, Ratirad, Chavana Butwilai, Fengji, Chen, Si, Chen, Wenchi, Cho, Yu, Gao, Chen, Gong, Zongliang, Gu, Yin, Hu, Yuan Yuan, Hu, Virunchana, Kuanha, Rui, Li, Shu, Li, Yating, Li, Yi Wei, Li, Liang Liang, Zibo, Lin, Jun, Liu, Chi, Lu, Nuthaporn, Maduathong, Napasavan, Neem Tang, Mangbei, Pan, Foteni, Pasvauri, Shinyi, Shu, Kamonchano, Sriyanuchit, Kun, Su, Zhichang, Wang, Lin, Wen, Shenjia, Wu, Zhincheng, Wu, Yi, Wu, Yushuan, Shi, Haolin, Shen, Siyuan, Shao, Shenji, Zhu. My name is Paolo Regis. I am an associate professor of the Department of Banking and Finance of the Southampton Business School. I now present the graduates from the Southampton Business School for the work of Masters of Science. Amjad, Ahmed, or Asmarui. Nasifa, Ibrahim, Babangida. Keshin, Chan. Chun Shi, Chen. Yao, Chen. Ying Ying, Chen. Jia Hui, Diao. Xiao Yan, Duan. Dong Yun, Wu. Jin Han, Wang. Rui Jia, Wo. Ying Wo. Wen Rei, Hu. Zi Ji, Hu. Ming Ying, Huang. Zhen Yu, Huang. Jin Jin, Li. Lan Yue, Li. Yao, Liu. Yue, Niu. Rui Jie, Ren. Xi Jia, Ren. Han Xun, Song. Qi Xuan, Song. Xin Rui, Su. Yuan Tian. Han Yun, Wen. Jiang Nan, Wu. Ying Ying, Wu. Lu Lu, Xie. Ying Xing. Xu Ting, Yang. Yi Jing, Yu. Xin Zhao. Qi Lan, Yan. 
Shijuan Jen Shilian Zhou Ying Yu Sandia Xiao Ying Bian Shen Ying Chen Xi Ying Chen Wong Tong Do Peng Xu Fu Han Fei Gan Xu Ling Ge Yi Dan Wu Ming Yuan Yu Jie Wan Hao Wo Xiao Tong Wo Xin Yu Han Xue Song Hao Ying Jia Dan Yan Jiang Yu Jia Yu Chen Li Dong Ning Liao Huan Jian Ling Ziyang Ling Bing Yue Liu Hen Yu Liu Qin Lo San Liu Elkan Nagiyev Yi Chen Ping Vladislav Kianitsky Punin Qi Yan Yuan Qian Meng Yue Qin Xiao Ting Qiu Sibo Ren Qing Su Yi He Su Wong Yanut Dab Dab Hai Tang Wang Hei Long Wang Xi Qi Wang Xu Qi Wang Yan Zheng Wang Yi Yuo Han Wang Meng Xin Wei Xiao Qin Wei Jia Hao Xiao Xin Xie Bo Xu Rong Xu Lei Fan Yan Yi Wen Yan Chen Yang Hu Xian Yang Wei Han Yang Xia Yi Wu Bo Yang Chen Dong Yang Ke Xin Yang Rong Yang Si Juan Jiang Ye Chuan Jen Yu Yan Zhou Hua Rui Zhuo Yin Lin Chen Chang Chen Chao Shuang Dong Hun Ji Wen Jie Jiao Bo Jin Chan Yu Jin Jun Ling Li Ling Ling Liang Zi Xu Liang Yi Qing Fan Silver Salundo Zi Xu Shen 
Yashin Wang Yisu Wang Dong Xiao Yanqing Yang Sichan Yu Changshan Yang Wuhan Zhao Zhou Zhao Lei Zhou Yu Yu Aonan Zai Yanchuan Chen Keshin Chen Yinai Varma Datla Yuan Tao Li Hui Lei Liu Yan Yu Ni Wu Ye Qin Zhen Ming Xiang Li Li Xu Jin Chen Yanan Chen Yu Hua Chen Linan Gao Dong Jing Ge Iran Hu Iran Yang Ge Xin Li Ge Yi Li Chuan Liu Li Liu Chuan Teng Mai Yu Shi Han Zi Xuan Qi Yu Qin Qian Rong Wang Zi Qian Wu Ning Qian Xiang Ru Xiao Hong Xi Xie Yao Xie Sun Wu Yang Xu Ting Yao Wei Li Yao Yang Ming Jiang Lu Jiang Yi Xiang Yang Liang Bei Jiao Zui Ke Zhou Jia Wei Zhou Hi. Listen, I'm I'm sure you've spent your last three or four years working toward this moment and um, years and years of slogging away and cramming for those exams and frazzling your little brains out in the process. Um, but can I just say the war is over, okay? You can come out and breathe the air. It's free. You're free again for now. All right, I don't want to distress you though. But let me just say, before you start thinking of what's the next thing, which I know we humans have a propensity for, what's next? Um, let me just say that that is really no way to live the rest of your life chasing from one thing after another. Because eventually, eventually you'll forget you were chasing and it just becomes a habit and you go from one thing to the next to the next and it becomes an addiction like anything else and not too good for your health and eventually you'll just need higher and higher doses just to feel normal and then you'll never feel satisfied because you're caught in this kind of craving this endless craving and that lies away toward unhappiness so at some point, it's going to be necessary to gain some insight, all right, to connect with who you really are and what you really want, what would give you satisfaction, and not just keep up with what the next person is doing or social media tells you what they're doing, which probably they're lying about. You know, everybody wants what the next person has and the next person wants what the next person has. Again, we can get into that kind of syndrome. But, you know, insight is figuring out what do you really want, okay? Not job, what job you want or how much money you 
want to make, but, you know, something a lot deeper. I mean, the culture, as I said, doesn't encourage that kind of thinking. It's more about doggy dog. Though, really, I've never met a dog who ate another dog, but I don't know where that came from. You know, we're meant to believe that high achievers come in first. You know, the, Darwin said uh, survival of the fittest. And so we met, we imagine these tough people at the top, you know, kind of grinding their teeth and going for the gold. But actually what Darwin meant was not the toughest. He meant the fittest are the people that cooperate the best, that work the best as a team. That's what he really meant. And then the industrialists came along and reinterpreted it so they could justify their greed. But I think Darwin was, he was on the right path. So the best thing is, Humans are at their best when they're doing teamwork, when you're working for the next person, okay? That's when we, when we bond, when we work for the next person, that's when we're happiest. And compassion is the glue. So we do need that insight, you know, understand what we really want, who we really are, underneath the habits of thinking. Do you know what I mean? Let me just, this is another thing that'll make you happy to understand those thoughts are just old recordings, and I have them too. You know, I'm not good enough, I'm gonna be a failure. What if everybody catches who I really am? These are just old recordings. Eventually you have to learn they're not facts, okay? But if you believe you're not good enough, the brain will actually uh, physiologically cement in that formation. But if you believe that everything is possible, everything becomes possible. And another thing is, you know, we do as humans think in the past and the future, you know, that's what we have over animals is we can plan for the future depending on what we did in the past. But if that becomes a habit, you don't live in the present anymore. And that is another thing that makes the journey worthwhile. You know, that's why you slave for everything in your life so that you can taste it or see it or experience it right in the moment. You know, you don't want to hear a concert yesterday or tomorrow. You want to be there right now. I think the expression is if you ask somebody what the best time in their life is and they say now, then they've arrived. So again, insight and learning how to be present sometimes is the greatest skill and you don't need to get a degree in that. But you do have to study it and practice it because humans, you know, we have this, as I said, this propensity for future thinking, past thinking and just following what the next guy does. But if you really learn to maybe focus, stop a few times a day, you know, you have to achieve. We have to use a little bit of stress, but otherwise we just get stressed about stress, which is what the word frazzled means, stressed about stress. We start thinking, oh my God, nobody else is as stressed. I shouldn't be this stressed, blah, blah, blah. This is, we sabotage ourselves with our own thinking. But if you stop for a few minutes and think, what's going on in me right now? What am I feeling? Well, you could do it right now. What's the weather temperature inside your body? Are you happy? Are you tired? Are you sad? If you stop and kind of focus inside, it slows you down enough so that you can focus what's around you and actually get surround sound and hear what's out there. You know, enjoy your holiday rather than thinking of what you have to do next. So I hope when you go into the next stage of your life, you're focusing a little more about what really interests you, no matter what anybody else tells you. You know, I know it's tantalizing to follow the crowd, but stick to your guns. We really need to learn to cool our engines. Otherwise, it's like a car that's out of petrol. You know, what's right for you? Where is your tipping point? Really, otherwise, it's you're emptying your, your tank and then you're just grinding your wheels like a car that's caught in mud, just sinks deeper and deeper. So congratulations to the class of 2021. I can't wait to see where you all go on to, but promise me you'll try to be more present and you'll be true to yourselves. Okay? And that way lies happiness. And that's all that's worth it. Okay, thanks very much. Congratulations on gaining your degree. Everything is paid off and you deserve to celebrate all that you have achieved. When you first started your Southampton journey, it was probably a lot for you. Just another step in your education. I know that was my experience. But the more you spend time at university, the more you realise that it's about as much about the community and the people you meet as it is about what you learn, your grades and your successes. You'll be marking this moment alongside the people you've bonded, connected and collaborated with over the last few years. 
you'll be reflecting on the friendships and memories you've made, the nights that you've been on and the adventures you've faced together. This step, this moment when you leave as a community after so long is intimidating, but you're all stepping outside the supportive community and into the unknown together. We've seen this last year, how important it is to have a network of support. Loneliness is an epidemic and social distancing hasn't just been about staying physically separate. It's only natural to, be want to, to want to be a part of something bigger. It's human to want to be with and connect with others. The great news is when you graduate from Southampton and move on to whatever is waiting for you, you're still a part of a community that continue to support you as you wake your way into the world. As soon as you gain your degree, you're a part of the university's alumni community, joining thousands of other Southampton graduates worldwide who are changing lives, making a difference and achieving remarkable things, all connected by their unique Southampton stories. As a fellow member of the university alumni community, I urge you to stay in touch, share your progress, celebrate your milestones with us and reach out. While you're all going your individual ways, you will never be too far away from another Southampton graduate, or indeed, another graduate who has just finished their degree in the most unusual, unpre unpredictable and unyielding of times. Wherever you go in the world and whatever you do will be right beside you, as will the lifelong friends you've made during your time as a student here at Southampton. Welcome to the next exciting stage of life. I want to wish you the very best for your future, whatever it holds for you as a University of Southampton graduate. So finally, what I would like to do is do the formal legal bit of this which is to admit you to your award in absentia. When I started speaking, you were a graduand of Southampton University. You're now a graduate. Many, many congratulations and the very best of luck for what's ahead. <laughs>